Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Gary Gherkin. Good afternoon. Great to see all these Bill and Vista players here, wives, all kinds of Bill and Vista people. We got 11 tables on the far, far wall there. First of all, I got to thank Mr. John Cufferson for all the hard work he did in setting up the Bill and Vista ticket sales. Mr. C, we called him. Thank you, Mr. C. What a great honor for me to introduce to you our coach, Mr. Al Quick. It's possible some of you don't know Mr. Quick or what he stood for. Let me tell you a few things. Being a football player under Mr. Quick changed my life forever. I'm sure this is true of all Buena Vista football players. Mr. Quick inspired in each of us to be men and how to win football championships. As our coach, everything he taught us was honorable, true, and life-lasting. Hard work was the key to his coaching success. He never wavered or accepted anything but the best. As a team, we gave him our all. Teamwork and motivation were key. Fond memories will always be a part of those who played on them, those back-to-back -back state championship football teams. Uh, Coach had a lot of sayings. I could, I'd be up here all night if I told you all of his sayings. But he always say, when you go downfield, block somebody. Block the referee if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, his quitters never win, winners never quit. And of course, the one on the tape there, champs over chumps every time. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce you to our coach, Mr. Al Quick. Not much more I can say. <laughs> I'd like to thank the uh, Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame for inducting our teams into the Hall of Fame. Uh, compliment the inductees uh, this evening. Uh, it's a great honor to all of us and uh, uh, truly an honor for us uh, from Bina Vista and it's greatly appreciated. Uh, our school closed. I think nobody uh, you know, needs to talk about that, but when our school closed, somebody, everybody would ask me, what do you think of your old school when it, it's closed up? Sad, sad. Uh, the Buena Vista people, uh, were, it was a great school. We had great kids. It had a lot of pride, it had a lot of class, and a lot of dignity, and a lot of enthusiasm. So much enthusiasm uh, that it showed when we went to a uh, out-of-town game. We took two busloads of students, and before we left, a little pep assembly and so forth, and kiddingly I said, uh, bring your snow shovels. By golly, they did. <laughs> and I looked out and they had the field cleared, four or five inches of snow, had the field cleared from the end zone to the 30-yard line. Now they had, uh, somebody alluded to that, they had the uh, outline of the field, uh, sidelines, and, and yard markers, and so forth, but uh, the athletic director came out and stopped them. I think they just shoveled the whole field. <laughs> and like one of the kids oh, said already, we, we won that ball game. Uh, some of our prior ball players uh, can share in, in, in tonight's honor. Uh, our just they set an example for our program. I think our 63 team was 8-1. Uh, and one. We lost a 6-0 to the to uh, Alpena, uh, they set the standards. They bought into our program. 
and our program just perpetuated. And these young men uh, were unbelievable. I, I always felt that these kids played football the way football should be played. And they blocked the tackle and they run. And of course, the, the scores, uh, uh, a little embarrassing and sometimes, but how do you turn kids off? Uh, you, you can't turn them off. I'd say run to the sideline and you know, I, I anticipated that their pursuit would push us out of bounds. And uh, I think the, the boy that was uh, referred to as uh, head to the sidelines, uh, it was a kid that was injured. He came back, uh, doctor's uh, approval, and I didn't want him to get hit. So I just said, point blank, run to the sidelines and go out of bounds. And he ran to the sidelines, turned up field, and ran 65 yards for a touchdown. You know, uh, come back, come back, you know, and that sort of thing. Oh, in as much as I, I, I compliment them as playing football the way football should be played, uh, this allowed us to do some unorthodox things, and, and I'd like to allude to some of those. Uh, the, the stack block. Back then, I think all the coaches in the, uh, in the audience, and there are a lot of them, and a lot of good ones, let me tell you, uh, stacked their linebackers behind the tackles, behind the guards, behind the center, you know, wherever they would, and they'd stunt right and left and they tried to confuse you. Well, with, uh, with Don Cheesewall and, and uh, the staff, we, we kind of devised our own way of blocking the stack block. And uh, obviously, we were successful. Uh, broken play, quarterbacks running down the line, uh, broken play, and, and uh, you know, nobody to hand it off to. So he runs down, the end came across to, to tackle him. He threw the ball to a halfback that just happened to be running alongside of him. The option. Hey, we didn't know what the option was. Uh, the best thing, the fun part, we had a lot of fun. Uh, at least the coaches did. Uh, it appeared that they were having fun too. You know, winning is, is fun. Uh, we took the fullback and set him behind the guard, so close that his helmet could touch the butt of the guard. The best thing was to watch the linebackers who when they came up, of course, they're good, good ball players, they're looking, a man is missing. So they, you could see him react. Backfield you know, is empty there, they'd look left, they'd look right, and, and while they're, you know, they're thinking, where, where, where is he? Well, while they're thinking, we're reacting. Which alluded to another uh, saying that I come up with, don't think, react. <laughs> and that's the way it works. Uh, it, they didn't allude to it, but our 6 nothing game, uh, I asked him one time, what were you thinking? 6 uh, nothing. it was our 16th win, uh, you know, it, it, uh, well, they, they told me, we're thinking about what's happened about next week in practice. Uh, you weren't thinking about winning the ball game? Well, that, that just came natural, you know, or when I say natural, they, we punted to John Glenn, they were in their own end zone, punted out of their own end zone, we held them for four downs, and we didn't have much signal, that was a signal for eight, 80, eight man line, try to block the punt. And uh, the punt went straight up. We got the ball on the 19 yard line with uh, nine seconds left. And uh, we called halfback delay. Uh, Wally Zintak was, was there. I said, Wally, halfback delay, you know, and he said, he didn't even pay attention to me. He said, we got it coach. We popped that little pass out there. Uh, six to nothing. All right, thank God we won. You know, we, we wouldn't be here if we didn't win. <laughs> and, and to be here, let me tell you, is an honor. This is first class. Uh, anyway, I see David Tolliver in the end zone. Yeah, I saw it all, but I, you know, your eyes. Oh, David Toller, Tolliver turned a flip, a complete flip. Stood and standing still, he jumped up, turned a flip. And, and I, that amazed me more than I think the past did. Uh, is that music? I just, I just, just getting warmed up. But by that applause, I think all of you have to go to the bathroom. I, I, I better. I want to introduce the coaches. Uh, Ralph Schaber and I are, are still buddies. We still hang out together. Uh, he, uh, gentlemen, he himself said, uh, "Make sure," and uh, you know almost beat up on me. Make sure you tell them hi for me. So that, that's from Ralph. Uh, Don Sheeswell. Uh, Don, uh, uh, there's, a, there's another blocking story I wanted to tell, but uh, you, you'd have loved it. 
I've got to cut it short somewhere. Uh, Bob Quinn, uh, Dick Crosby, Bob Bordeaux, Doug Rudabush, and the late Gene Trogan uh, was on our staff, and we called him the, the godfather of our football staff. Uh, uh, Jim Raymond uh, uh, is also uh, the basketball coach, and he was on the football staff. He says, you work too hard. I'll go back to basketball. <laughs> Our administration, I, I do want to thank uh, our, our superintendent, uh, Joe Barr, our principal, Bob Blue, one of the finest gentlemen you would ever meet, and uh, kept things in, in order. And Jim, Jim Blakehorn and John Cutperson, and I want to thank John for all that he did tonight, and Gary Gerken. We, we wouldn't be here for those two gentlemen, and I thank both of them. Uh, our faculty, it, it shows uh, the pride in the school, 17 members of our faculty. I think that's quite a, quite a compliment to them, too. Uh, it was a very close faculty. <laughs> I'm running. I could go on, but I, I'll stop. Uh, uh, last but not least, I think the wives of the coaches, and especially the queen, my wife, Marjorie, we've been married 58 years next month. And God... All, all these stories have gone. Uh, God bless her and, and uh, God bless all of you. Have a safe drive home and you have no idea how appreciative we are of this, this honor. Thank you. Yeah.